Today's podcast is brought to you by Auto Armor, Central Mississippi's premier automotive detail and ceramic coating shop. Located at 4394 Mangum Drive in Flowood, Mississippi. You can check them out online at AutoArmorMS.com and on social media at AutoArmorMS. That's A-U-T-O-A-R-M-O-U-R-M-S. Located right there in Flowood, Mississippi behind Merritt Health Hospital. See you soon at Auto Armor in Flowood. Jackson, Mississippi, and all surrounding areas, you have tuned into the Free Range Human Show of Choice. Your daily dose of reality radio starts now. This is the Clay Edwards Show. I am your host, Clay Edwards. I want to give a start out with a, a big happy birthday, man. A big happy birthday to Kid Rock. It was Kid Rock's birthday this weekend. It may have been today. It may have been Friday. I don't know. But one day, it was Kid Rock's birthday. And as you know, if you listen to the intro of this show, I, for one, am a Kid Rock fan. It is also Dr. Martin Luther King Day. I guess I would make it his birthday, too. So, yes. it is his birthday, not the day he was killed, right? No, birthday was yesterday. Birthday was yesterday, yeah. Today's Betty White's birthday. Yeah, today is the Betty White's birthday. So, it's yeah. MLK Day. It's Betty White's birthday. Happy 100, posthumously. Yes. Um, you made it as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to... It's also it. Ben Franklin's birthday. If, uh, if, if if we can lie about genders and everything, we can lie about birthdays. Betty made it to 100. Yeah. You know, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and she was a lady. And she, and she was a lady. So I, I, I want to say this about MLK, and we'll move on to the to our guests in the studio today. MLK would be a Trump supporter. I don't think there's any doubt about it. He would be up there with a mega hat on. He would be standing side by side with Donald Trump at these rallies to make America great again. He'd have a red mega hat on. I just posted a picture to the Save Jackson Instagram. You can go hit the love button there. Mm-hmm. Uh, screenshot it, send it around to everybody. You know, I don't think there's any doubt about it. He judged people on the content of their character, not the color of their skin. So, Democrats, you don't get to celebrate this day. you got to get your butt up and go to work. Go find something to do because all you do is judge people on the color of their skin. You don't get to celebrate this day no more. This is a mega holiday as far as I'm concerned now. There you go. All right. So, welcome to the Clay Edwards Show. I wanted to get that out. Do not let any of that uh, that mega dust sprinkle on my guests that don't want it on them. Chip Matthews. Good morning. Representative Fred Shanks. There Good morning. Go. How, gentlemen, how y'all doing this morning? Okay, yeah. bring, pull your mic down. Yep. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got uh, our our state representative from the Brandon area, Mr. Shanks, in the studio with us. And we Do are, you cover the reservoir, too? No, uh, that's going to be Brent Powell. Okay, so you're yeah. Brandon Proper. Yes, Brandon, Brandon Proper. Proper. Okay. Hey, real quick. So I had this get brought up again over the weekend, actually. Who... So the brand, the 047 Brandon, that's, yeah. is that, that's not in any city. That's county? P- pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So it's unique. That, that's that, high-class Brandon. I'm in low-class Brandon. No, you know what? I, I used to think that, too, until I got a little older and started, and started was picking which one I was going to move to. Yeah, right. It's a little more transient over there <laughs> on the 047 area. It, it's, it's not a knock. Mm, right. You know, where like, I, think, I think Highway 80 is more Bible Belt, God and Country. 047 is just a little different. It's more, to me, bit, yeah. it reminds me more of like early 90s South Jackson, where 042 nope. is 80s South you could, Jackson. You could say that. Yeah, that yeah. I, could I could see that. 90s Northwest Rankin. Yeah. Well, you know, because you had the, uh, if you look at it, the uh, areas around the, in the Pearl River Valley Water District mm-hmm. around there, that was kind of up class. Mm-hmm. And then as those houses have become older, those people have gone out to 
Deep Brandon. I was yeah. out in Deep Brandon yep. in an area where I'm going, did they just get lost and start building houses <laughs> way out there on that Tricken Bridge Road that oh, yeah. doesn't go all the way yeah. through? Yeah. I got out there yesterday and was going, geez. Yeah. That's that's where my twin brother lives right now. Well, I was like, wow. Yeah, it's exploded out there. There was like, I don't know what that neighborhood was. It was, I have to work on that. Yeah, now Chip, you would be surprised to know that Mr. Shanks here, while him and his dad are dying the wool bulldog fans, his twin brother played baseball at Ole Miss. Well, see, his twin brother must be much smarter and more successful because <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. living out in deep, well, deep rich, Brandon. I'll give you that. He hates politics, so he is the smart one. Well, that he's is not, the smart Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, I don't, and, I, and you come from a town, you come from an area where politics doesn't include guns, fires, your car being blown up, and uh, illegal elections where if you don't get a vote, you can still be in charge. <laughs> So it must be nice in your part of the world. So far, so good. <laughs> but we did get eight inches of snow yesterday. So how, speaking of the snow, Chip, mm-hmm. did you, you survived, obviously. Yes, I survived the snow. <laughs> did uh, And you had every TV camera in town looking for a pile of snow, and they all were in Canton. I was like, wow. Now if we could get them up here to cover crimes and elections, I would be much happier. Uh, probably not going to happen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold oh, no. your breath. Hey, re- real quick before we go any further, man, I got to give a shout. I know she's not up listening, but maybe she listens to the podcast. I'm going to give a shout out to my daughter Kylie. She killed her third buck yesterday. Wow! Second one this year. Third within 12 months. And I just couldn't be happier. I've never killed a buck in my life. No. You know, of course, I, it's, it's from lack of patience and <laughs> and uh, and all of How that. How many times have you really gone hunting? A dozen or so, but I mean, I'm just not, it ain't my thing. Yeah. I mean, I love it. I love going to deer camp, hanging out with folks. If somebody, if somebody invited me to deer camp this weekend, I'd go with them. But. I figured you and grandpa way back in the day probably went out and, <laughs> and, and grandpa is not his grandfather, by no, the way. <laughs> grandpa is a friend of mine's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I figured at some point I killed a deer, but I more than likely he would run over one and say, let's cook him. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, knock on wood, I've never even ran over a deer. And okay. I think it's because I always have cars with loud tires and, <laughs> and, and exhaust and all that. So it kind of, that kind of scares them before they, what comes up Meet on them. Meet their maker. Yep. So, uh, congratulations, Kylie. Uh, that'll be more deer meat I get to drop off somewhere and spend three or four hundred dollars <laughs> processing. But hey, whatever, man. I'd rather spend it, uh, at a local processor than I would at the grocery store. So there's that. All right, man. Representative Shanks. Your representative today. I am today. Yeah. Uh, we're approaching the third week of the session, and uh, we have we have really uh, hit the ground running. And uh, I'll kind of touch base on a few things that we've already done. Um, as most of your listeners will know, that uh, one of the hottest topics now is medical marijuana. Uh, the Senate's passed a bill, and it should be over to us to vote on on the House side probably this week, maybe the end of the week. And, uh, you know, I don't really anticipate us not passing it at all. And then from there, it'll go to the governor's office. Well, you said you don't anticipate what? I don't anticipate that we'll have any issues passing oh. it on the House okay. side. And uh, then uh, last week, we just passed the Mississippi Tax Freedom Act, which is obviously what you know about, the tax cut. And we've kind of tweaked it a little bit and made it even even sweeter than what it was. Yeah, you know, I was... I saw some rumblings on lines, and I told you this in a uh-huh. phone conversation the other day, that I saw some people talking about, well, you know, I didn't really think it was a good deal at first, but even I think this is a good deal. I'm like, well, heck, I, I'll be honest, I thought it was a good deal at, at first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you you have to do something that will actually affect people. Uh, if it was watered down, it, it just wouldn't have been worth doing. And and it was a good bill, but it's it's an even better bill. It's kind of hard to argue with now. And uh, now I understand you have four point four billion extra dollars. Is that what the number? We, we got a few extra bucks. Like a few extra yeah. bucks. So what in the future to replace those dollars? Mm-hmm. What are we doing to replace those dollars? Well, the the state is is under conservative leadership right. has done extremely well. We've had a and hope um, that continues. Yes, <laughs> and, and, it, and it should. We've got uh, we, we on the like the tax cut, for instance. We did a, a fiscal note, right? And that the legislative budget office will go through with DFA, and they'll go through and make sure all the numbers work out for the foreseeable uh, future, right? And um, but the, uh, the, we've just had a massive reserve of money. Then plus we've got all this other money coming in from the Fed. So okay. we're just in really good shape, and we will be for. You know, like I said, you know, because for years to on the what is it, Medicare? They've always said you can't pass Medicare because you can't replace the funding. Yeah, yeah. So one time money. So when you money. look at this uh, Fed money coming, yeah. yes, 
it's coming. But if I mean, if it, if that when, when the leadership changes there, that money's not coming anymore <laughs> at the federal government level. When, yeah, when uh, <laughs> when we t- when the Republicans took over, it was. Uh, you know, I mean, they've been. It's been just growing. Yeah. Oh been, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's. You and know. I mean, the radio name funds fully funded. Everything. Oh, yeah. Everything's. It's, it's busting at the seams. I mean, yeah. we've got literally we've got money everywhere. And it's funny that you bring that up, but uh, you know, everybody when <clears throat> the municipalities, counties, when they figured out we had all this money coming in, of course, everybody's getting their projects ready right. and coming to ask. We had seven billion dollars worth of ask. Okay, but <laughs> what they did in that seven billion dollars uh-huh. that I thought was great because I was thinking about mm-hmm. my our situation in Canton. You must have matching funds. Yeah, it, and and in Canton, they've stolen all the money, so there is no matching funds. So there'll be no roads it, it built. Might be a little bit of a problem, <laughs> but in order, you know, between uh, Philip Gunn and Delbert Hoseman, we we've got a. a we're working on a system that we're either going to do it a couple different ways, but your project's more than likely it's going to be rated. Right. And, you know, you're going to have to dot the I's across the T's to get the money. Right. I mean, it's not just going to be handed I mean, but out. look at it. So they requested $7 billion, yeah. and so that means in matching funds, we're now spending $14 billion across mm-hmm. Mississippi to rebuild the state. Should be able to get something done. Well, I mean, so we're not going to pay for Jackson's water, are we? <laughs> and that... <laughs> Well, this the the what about a police force? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with the basics. Well, the a, a lot of this money is for water and sewer projects. Yeah. So, you know, it just depends on if their representatives and senators are doing a good job or not. In my opinion, yeah. yeah. I mean they they've got to work with their local leadership and they've got to have a actual plan. You just just like everybody else. Yeah. Now we got the Keither on there, and he's the he, Keither's he, the man. The Keither I, I really stands like for him. good folks, and and, I, and of course I'm I'm being a little facetious about the water stuff. It's got to yeah. be fixed one way or another. You're, right? you're right. You know, I mean, it, it, it is, is our, what it is. At but this point. you just can't give it to them. No, or they'll just spend it everywhere. They'll do. Yeah. Well, there's so, got there has so, to be a clause in there that no money can be spent on consulting firms. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> third parties. Yeah, no yeah. money on consulting firms. Talkway. Yeah. Uh, All right. So look, let's get to the let's get into the nuts and bolts. Well, hold on. What's, let's what's go, next let's up, go down your list go and then we'll come back. Finish on your list. Okay. I, you know, another big topic that we've already passed that will, like the Tax Freedom Act, is going to be the, uh, you know, monumental teacher pay raise. And of course, we passed it. Uh, it's going to it'll raise teachers' pay above the national average and the southeastern. That's what average, I heard. Now, can is, we can we disqualify? And that's starting that's starting pay for teachers. That's right? starting, but there's a pay scale. So right. if you've been there, you're still getting a raise. Right, you're, you're correct. And it's a, and it's a uh, the more educated you are, the more you correct, get as there's, well. there's, more qualified. The, yeah, exactly right. There's a there's a scale, and I have it on my Facebook page if anyone wanted to look at it. But it 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 points out you know what you would make and this and that. Also, there's a two thousand dollar bump for teacher assistants. Yeah, uh, no. that that got brought up. My sister was a teacher's assistant for ten years. Mm-hmm. You know, when she was married, um, and she she loved that job. But they yep. didn't. But they got the benefit. They got benefits, but the the pay was. Oh yeah, yeah. Pay it, left more to be desired. Yes. Um, now let, let me ask this: Is there a clause in there to disqualify any TikTok teachers who come out at their, their gender reveals <laughs> on the classes or anything? There's, we have a lot of crazy teachers yeah. out there. Well, I have not seen that just yet, but Clay, I will look into that. In fact, I look into that t- uh, this afternoon. Does that? Uh, let me ask you this: On cli- now, we've we've already passed something on criti- critical race theory, right? No, no but now are. there's five or six bills on it, and I know there's five or six bills on CRT just in, on the house. Do we teach so. Mississippi history anymore in schools? <laughs> well, <laughs> I I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah. Now, now I'll tell you what, though. If, if, I've got a great Mississippi politics book uh-huh. from uh, the Mr. Shanks here let me borrow, and I, yep. I've got a couple chapters down. I, I think that should be required reading. You know, that's a good idea, and, and uh, we're talking about um, – I would have loved to know more book. about this than I, do, you know, yeah. then than I than I do now. I, I think if anybody gets into public office, they should they should read that book and have to take a test. Have y'all read that Eastland book? I need to get y'all. I'll bring y'all a I'll, copy of the to. Eastland book. Yeah. That's that's a different different level <laughs> yeah, of politics. Yeah. Little, uh, different generation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, look, we got to take a break real quick. You're listening to the Clay Edwards Show. We'll be right back here on 103.9 WYAB. All right, welcome back to the Clay Edwards Show. This segment's going to be brought to you by Land Management of Mississippi. From small lots to large acreage, if you need your lot cleared or cleaned, then Land Management of Mississippi should be your only phone call. Land Management of Mississippi offers forestry mulching, 
land maintenance, bush hogging, land cleaning, and more. Call Michael Lasseter today at 601-953-4218 or check him out on Facebook at Land Management of MS. And let me tell you, don't think that just because, don't think big lands. If you got a lot beside your house that got some old trees and brush and this, that, and the other, and it just seems overwhelming, you can't get to it, and they do small jobs too. And uh, they'll bring it in, get it cleared off, and get your land usable. What's the point in having it if you can't do nothing with it? So uh, give Michael a call, 601-953-4218. If you can't remember that, hit me up. I will gladly share that information with you. Good God-fearing folks supporting the Clay Edwards Show. That's there what we're all go. about over here. There you go. All right. I am joined today by my Tuesday, my Monday morning co-host, I'm sorry, Chip Matthews, and my buddy, Mr. Fred Shanks, representative from the Brandon area. And uh, we're discussing what's moving and shaking down at the house. If you guys want to... Want to talk to Fred? If you got any questions for any of us, 601 879 0002. Would love to hear from you this morning. It is a MLK day, so I know a lot of you guys are off work, and I probably wouldn't be awake either if I was off. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, Fred, I want to thank you for coming in. Chip, Absolutely. thank you for coming in. And uh, kind of thawing out a little bit. Had a little snow come through, a little ice. I, my car was frozen solid this yeah. morning. Yeah, I it, had to crank mine up, let it warm up a little bit. The windshield wipers weren't working. Yeah, that's why I was a little later than you. I was yeah. like, we're only here at a quarter till, but I was about five or ten minutes later than that because I had to wait on my windshield to defrost enough to be able to hit the wipers. Me too, me too. Chip, did you have any uh, no, ice? Nothing. No? You have a garage? you park inside? Uh, no, not no. this car. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it, I had nothing. <laughs> we had snow yesterday, and I think it was only, I think it only got down to 34 in Canton okay. overnight. Yeah. Fred, let's uh let's jump into the well. First off, the other thing you're working on mm-hmm. that that I think is sliding under the radar a little bit is the uh the, the black tag. Oh yeah, yeah. I think well, that's the midnight edition yeah. or blackout edition or. I kind of like blackout edition. Yeah, but we can call it whatever. Uh, you know, it's most of you know everybody I know that knows you and I. I mean, we're big car guys, and um, we were approached with this a little while back and about doing kind of a vanity plate but it, it looks similar to what texas does it's a solid black tag with white letters mm-hmm. it's a uh, you know, i want the first one well you know it's and, very it's it's basic in a good yeah. way because there's nothing worse than having this really cool vehicle yeah and you got this god-awful license plate on the back sticking out like a sore thumb yeah well th- this one's a, a nice little flex and yeah. uh you know, I, when I posted something about it on social media, I keep getting hit with thank you know thank goodness you're doing something on that, and uh, you know I got uh, Senator Delano on the other side helping out, so I feel confident that we're going to get it done. But uh, the the big comment that comes to mind on our current tag is that it looks like it's uh, pond, oh, pond water. <laughs> the well, color, yeah. Oh, yeah. the color is yeah. that brown. You know, it's just you know it's yeah. terrible. Well, that and the seal it, is all center. That's right. That's right. I've, if you're if you're OCD at all, yeah, I'll drive it, you crazy. It, it has to drive you back crap crazy. Yeah. So hopefully, we, we probably won't vote on that till the end of session. Um, and how a vanity plate works is after we vote on it, it has to sell th- pre-sale three hundred copies before they'll produce it. Well, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, th- this one will two. It, it'll hit that probably in a day or two. So. I, I feel good that we're going to get yeah. that through. It'd be really cool. We'll, we'll make sure we promote it. And, and we'll, so is this, a, is this just a vanity tag? Uh, yeah, so it's a, another, as of right now, that's that's how we're going to that's how we're. And you can you can get it vanity with a custom yeah. custom whatever or a regular right. Uh, it, as of right now, yes. Yeah. So it can go yeah. either way. So, so one's thirty five dollars, one's not. Yeah, that, you, you would pay an additional fee on this one, but. To, okay. Totally, just, totally just, worth just it. Cur- just for the people yeah. that want this, it's a small price oh, yeah, to pay. Yeah, yeah. Especially I, if you got a black car and that blackout uh, yeah. thing is what you're looking for. This yeah. is. I think every car guy we know is going to hop all over this one. Oh it's yeah, just, it's cool. Yeah. So I mean, I look, it's the little stuff like that, that that that's important too. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's that. That's what. That's the quality of your life stuff. That's right. <laughs> you know. There you go. That's like that's like parks and sidewalks and stuff. Yeah. yeah <laughs> bike, yeah. bike trails for yeah, car guys. Just bumps it up a notch. All right, man. Let's let's circle back, Jen Psaki style, to uh to the income tax deal. Yeah. Okay. Where did it improve at? What are some high points on this thing? Where are people going to save the most money? Well, there and there's several models out there that show. Uh, uh, my buddy Russ Latino has done a, a really good job of putting a few models out. If anybody wants to check his Facebook account, but the grocery tax is a big, big deal. That gets cut fifty percent when it. In a, I think it's going to be about a year or two. It, it, get, it gets bumped down gradually, but ultimately it'll be a 50% cut there. And then your your license plate uh, taxes and all will be cut 50%. That was going to be, well, one, it wasn't really an option, but now we tweaked it. It was going to be 35%. 
came back, figured we had enough money. So we're like, hey, let's do 50%. So, uh, But now in the reality on the mm-hmm. uh, car tag, mm-hmm. are you really getting a cut as much as cars have gone up over the last few <laughs> years? <laughs> yeah, well, and that was one of the uh, one of the issues in the original plan, uh, a few uh, – businesses that got uh, tax breaks on their sales tax for like farm equipment uh, cars right. since you brought it up yeah. and, cars uh, are 5% yeah like mobile homes what's it going like up that. to they're not they're not they're not going up at all okay that that's, like, that was one of the benefits but like of if you had a plan. 30 or 50,000 dollar car your 50,000 dollar car you know you you're still paying the tax and says so that's cut in half but Mm-hmm. Cars have gone up what over the last well, 20, ten years, fifty yeah, percent. But, but you finance the you finance the tax into the deal yeah. typically, and if you're financing yeah. the tag, there's no finance in that unless yeah, you put it on a right. credit card. That's I mean, so I'm that's saying. that's real cash saved. Yeah. Right. And, and, so it's and, saved. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you got to remember. I mean, if if you're but I mean the coffers are really not going down from cutting the tax Mm-mm. because the price of the cars have gone up so much. Yeah. Would 30, you say 35 yeah. percent on used cars? And, and remember, I think uh, what is Clay, you know, this average when somebody's getting a new car or used car, maybe what, every five to seven years? Three years. Three years? Okay. Well, with, with of course, with this tax plan, you're going to get... pivot to four through this mm-hmm. COVID era because of yeah. supply issues. Well, I only get the $35 tag. My cars are old. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. We won't be able to help you too much on <laughs> no, that. No. But you, you're going to get an immediate, I think I think it's 1400 bucks back uh, at, per at person. minimum. Yeah, per minimum. person. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I'd... double that for, you know, a married couple and uh so, you know, if you throw that in to a three-year uh, average, I mean, you've got a chunk of change saved. It's a down payment. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I mean, a, a real solid, absolutely. substantial down payment. Mm-hmm. Of course, right. I, you know, I, I wish I had the ability to, to save. Okay, this is what I would have paid last year. Let me take this savings and put it over here. Uh, yeah. But the <laughs> real savings is in the grocery tax because absolutely. everybody, absolutely. everybody that, you know, everybody's, everybody's eating. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know. I wish that would spread to restaurants, too. But, yeah. Well, and that was a big concern. I think a lot of retired folks who don't have a lot of taxable income were were concerned. But by cutting the grocery tax, they don't. If you really think about it, what do you spend your money on that is taxed? Your bills, your gas. Gas isn't a sales tax, right? You know, and and it's the the biggest uh, expenditure for a retired couple usually is uh, the grocery bill. And in the Biden world, yeah. we won't get any gas tax in the future because we'll all be driving electric cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> but, but Mississippi already has something in place for if you buy an electric car, don't they? Yeah. You, yeah. There, there's a couple different benefits yes. there. No, I'm so. talking about uh, taxes. Uh, don't they charge an extra tax when you buy the car? I know there, there, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is. is there, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it is, but, but there it, is one. they, 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 they well, were. They're ahead using of, our roads. Yeah, but know? they were ahead of that years mm-hmm. ago. They got. I, yeah. I remember. I think George Flags was still in there when they put that yeah. in place. But you got an incentive. You got a tax break to buy a used car. Correct. I mean, to buy an electric vehicle. Correct. But you're still going to pay the tax to be on the road. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's a, well. Wouldn't that be what the? Uh, well, I guess that's the got the the gas thing. I was thinking, wouldn't that technically be what the tag? Tax as far as supposed to go to roads and bridges, the tag money. Yeah. So well, we've had the highest tags, but it is the conversation I had with with Speaker Gunn uh-huh. about this when we when we met out there in Pillahatchie. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like the only only car guy that was thought that saw the upside. Yeah. You know, to maybe raising the sales tax, yeah. but I said, well, you know, you've got a captive audience for one thing. Correct. We, if the tag price is coming down. Mm-hmm. I don't mind paying the more sales tax because even if we raised it from five to seven percent, which didn't happen, but just making a point here, yep. it's still a good four percent cheaper than any of our surrounding states. I mean, Louisiana oh, is around right at nine point five ten percent, depending upon the parish. Correct. So you maybe only pay twenty five dollars for a tag, but you're paying so much more for your car. Correct. The the sales tax cumulatively on every state surrounding us is nine percent. Yeah. So now this does go up to eight and a half. It goes from seven to eight and a half, but we're still lower than every other state. And, you know, a big draw on this is going to be getting getting companies to come in, you know. Um, we, well, we I talked to one of my colleagues, and uh, he's up in Columbus, and right. he was speaking to some guys he knows that are at the airbase who don't live here. Right. But just the word that we are trying to get this done, they are moving and retiring here. Because, for instance, on the Tennessee line, yeah. they don't pay a tax in Tennessee. They don't mm-hmm. pay yeah. taxes. So – you have millionaires that are going to live on one side of the road Absolutely. and not on our side. But on to your point, that millionaire, you want him, but 
how many jobs is he bringing with oh, these companies? That's what I'm that's saying. That's key. what you yeah, want. Absolutely. Yes, I, I agree. And, yeah. and we've had those conversations about just that, about these uh, you know, folks who are I'm, living right over the line. They want to come here. Because if you look at that new Highway 269 through there, that it's ripe. Yeah, well, we, yeah. we were the only red state to lose – to lose population. That's because we have Benny but, Thompson. Well, because of the income tax. Hey, look, we're going to take a call real quick. We've got to take a break, so let's take this. Hey, caller, you're on there. Hey, I heard y'all talking about the car tags. Y'all know how many car tags in Hines County cost over $1,500, $2,000? Well, it, a lot. But I went to buy my wife a new Lexus three years ago. No, oh, five years ago now, mm-hmm. and I I didn't buy it because the tag was going to be twenty two hundred dollars when I lived in Hines County. Now, was that was that in Hines County? What, what was that in the city or in the? Yeah, that was in that was in Bellhaven. In, okay, so in Jackson, yeah. Look, yeah. man, that, that that car tag in Jackson was absolutely mind boggling. And you, I heard because you get because you get because you, you get less out of it than anything. The guy you got there is state senator, right, Clay? Yeah, Fred Shanks. Let me tell you something, man. I I have a home in Florida, wouldn't have a, a, a home in Mobile. Uh huh. My car tag and mobile uh, went from, I think, 300 in Rankin County to Mobile, which you can compare there. Is Mobile County maybe a little bit better than Rankin County? Mm-hmm. To $800. I mean, to um, $65. My home insurance is 1700 up here. Down here, it's 900 My taxes up there are 2200 a year. In Mobile County, they're 800 And I have a, about a 1000 square foot bigger house. Uh-huh. Everything is higher up in Mississippi. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what we are trying to. And work I hate on. to and, say and, that. That's yeah. why when I when I get my when I get my house there sold, I ain't never coming back to that damn place. There are no jobs in that state anymore. There's Come on no down, there, son. We, hey, we're 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 trying to get people like you to stay here. That's what that's the goal and what we're doing. Why would why would anybody? No disrespect yeah. or anything. Well, that that's why but, we're working on it, and and I mean we're we care. We're trying to keep I, people. I'm, I'm, I'm keep about seventy percent. I'm about ninety percent here now. Ten percent there. I was about seventy percent here. Thirty percent there. And I bet you, in the last four years, I have bet you I have met fifteen hundred to two thousand people that were from that I twenty corridor that moved to South Alabama or in uh-huh. the Panhandle because there was nothing to do for their families. There are any no jobs. The jobs that are there don't pay anything. Mm-hmm. You know, there's more. There are more higher paying jobs around Mobile County than there are probably is in the state of Mississippi. Yeah. And on the Mississippi coast, the, the jobs there pay so much more money. Like Austin, I mean, excuse me, like Huntington Ingalls, Chevron, Ascend, than the Nissans and your tire package. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you tell somebody down here, you're going to start them on fifteen dollars an hour, they're going to tell you to go to hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I mean, I, I, that's true, dude. Yeah. The guys, some of these companies in Mobile start off thirty five dollars an hour. Yeah. Hey, Adam, we got to take a break, brother. I appreciate Have you. Have a good day, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Peace. All right, welcome back to the Clay Edwards Show. We are live here in the Generator Power Solutions studio. And this segment is going to be brought to you by Take a Break Deliveries. Download their app, get it in the App Store or on Google Play. You can also find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Take a Break Deliveries. Or check the website out, takeabreakdeliveries.com. Take a Break Deliveries is a local veteran-owned restaurant delivery business servicing customers at their door and on their schedule, whether they deliver to your home or place of business. Deliveries are designed to be affordable and on time. Usually takes about 45 minutes or less, give or take. And uh, if you use the discount code at checkout or the promo code at checkout, Clay601, and uh, I was a little wrong about the way I was. It's cap sensitive, so it's capital C, Clay601. You're getting four dollars off your delivery fee, which is pretty much free delivery in most cases. So take advantage of that. Tip your driver well, and uh, go follow Take a Break Deliveries on social media. Local and veteran owned, great people. Anytime there's ever been a problem, they jump out in front of it and they get it corrected. And uh, if there's something on a local menu that you want, you want to order, they will take that to the restaurant for you, and they'll get it added to the uh, to their their app there i wanted some extra cheese and that wasn't an option at lost pizza it, it is now okay <laughs> so so is that with a capital c with a cap, <laughs> capital c okay play 601 uh, take a break deliveries and get it rolling all right so look man we're joined in the studio by representative fred shanks and chip matthews we're discussing what's moving and shaking down at the house right the capital should i say yeah and uh 
what else do we got? So we we, we, we kind of hit the the, taxes. In, the income tax stuff. Uh-huh. Taxes, you're going to put money back in our pockets. Yes. We, a it, good money I, in I, our uh, pocket, not $100. No, no. This will actually impact you. Uh, and, you know, just something to think about. We're, we're going to be, upon completion, we're going to be giving back $2 billion to the people, to the taxpayers. When does it stop coming out of my paycheck? It, it would, it, you know, if the bill goes through, governor signs it, and I think that'll happen. I think we'll get it cranked up this summer. I mean, can we retro it back about four years? <laughs> yeah, let me I, let me put that in for you. I got I, I got some I got I got some issues with the, depart- <laughs> with the Department of Revenue. I'd like to I'd like to get this retro on out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see what we can do. So, all right, so so hopefully by by the end of summer. Yeah. So that, that's yeah. good stuff there, man. I tell you, that's going to be a big day in Mississippi because absolutely that's been one of the things that has cost us people absolutely to Tennessee to Florida to Texas. I, we, hey, we've we've uh, you know Speaker Gunn. Proposed this last year. Uh, it traveled the state, and we've heard over and over and over about people who want to come in, who are on the state line, kind of like what we've already talked about, who are basically just waiting, waiting on this just to come. So, yeah. all right, look, we have got a caller here, everybody's favorite. I believe this is Thomas. Hey, you there? Yeah, yeah not Clay. Now, now, they don't flag you on Instagram for that picture. You put it, 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 just, it just did. I was about to say that. It, uh, it just, it just did. Uh, Instagram disputes. Right. Now, 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 hold on, Chris. Now, you, now, that's why people I always call you a racist. You shouldn't have did. You see what I'm saying? Don't do that. Why? Why does a hat? Why does a cloth that's hat make him a racist? Why are you trying to get get likes and views and hits and all that stuff? But don't tread. Along those lines, but you you know, black people. you know what was his what was his message though? What was Martin it, Luther it's King's not about, message? It's not about it's not, it's not about, about his it. message being it's the not, same it's as Trump. About that when it comes down to Trump and a MAGA hat on on the statue of Martin Luther King or the real picture of him, that's kind of racist a little bit. It's he not racist. Well There's nothing racist like about wanting to make face. America it's great again. Like blackface. It's almost like blackface. Well, it's I, almost I, like that. So I, stop playing. That's that corny white boy joke that I'll get you put in the racist. Bracket. I don't so care. Let me tell you that's something. Stupid, man. I didn't. I don't care what black folks think about yeah, me. But listen, man, that's stupid, though, Clay. You don't do no stuff like that, man. I just Stop did. Stop playing like that. People can not like you, but are you racist or not? Just go on the minute, we think you are. Thomas, I don't care. Well, I don't care. Send I'll Tom- still talk to you. Send so Thomas a MAGA hat. Do, I ain't do you, you. I ain't do you, white folks. Do you have any I'm questions for Representative you. Shanks? I ain't got a damn white man in the state of Mississippi bleed it. Do you have any questions for no, Representative Shanks? With that being said, stop doing that type of stuff, Clay Edwards. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So talk we, to you later, Thomas. We got that out of the way early. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought, you know, it's hit and miss with Thomas. <laughs> You know, I, I wouldn't even take him for a social media guy, but apparently he's following me on Instagram. He's keeping up, man. <laughs> and, and he, you know, he he listens. He doesn't yeah. miss it. He no. keeps up with you on all platforms. That's great. Thanks for being a supporter there, Thomas. No, we appreciate we appreciate Thomas. Those clicks listening. pay the bills. <laughs> we do. We do. All right. <laughs> Representative Shanks, so yeah. medical cannabis. Yes, that that <clears throat> Y'all gonna vote on that this week? I, I I think we'll by the end of the week we should. I know it passed the Senate uh forty six to five and uh it's headed our way. Uh, I think we'll who were the should, five should, naysayers? I, you could pull it up. I, I don't know who it was, but it'd be easy to find out. Uh, we just pull it up. On, you can go to the Mississippi Legislature page yeah. and, uh, and and check that out. But okay. yeah, We'll do that during the next break. <laughs> All right. Give them some credit. Okay, so is there anything in there that of that bill that you that you like or don't like? That one, honestly, I've, I've, I'm charged with fixing the initiative process this year right. in my committee, so... I have not really kept up with the intricacies of it. Uh, Lee Yancey, who is a colleague of mine, who his district butts up to mine, he's spearheaded on that on the House side. Uh, so just kind of let him have that. And if it's medical only, mm-hmm. is there really a financial windfall for all the businesses that are coming here to build out? In Fred's opinion, I, I wouldn't think so. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it, and, and as long as it doesn't become. But I mean, people, you know, the people want a medical program. Right. So we got one coming. And well, I, if you start pivoting people off of, mm-hmm. off, I don't know how y'all's families and extended friends mm-hmm. and whatnot are extended families, but if you can start pivoting people off of some of these barbiturates yeah. and painkillers, absolutely. it's absolutely going to yeah, be a yeah, boom. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, we all know how people love money. Once, once mm-hmm. it, see, it's going to be a lot easier to pivot from medical to full use. Mm-hmm. 
once people start seeing the money and once they realize that it's not it's not a uh, we reefer madness out in the oh, streets yeah. you know yep. uh, and so i i do believe that here within the next four to eight years conservatively that that we will have but you do look use. at it as a gateway drug don't you i used to it was for me mm-hmm. i mean i went but i was 17 yeah. 16 the first mm-hmm. time and the, so the, my next step was Oh well, hey, I tried that, so this can't be that bad. What was the next thing? I just yeah. did the progression of drugs. Yeah. Right. But I mean, I'll be the first to admit that. But it has come a long way. Yeah. I mean, they were talking about that was ninety two, ninety three. Yeah. You know, when all you could get was just some dirt weed from Jackson. <laughs> you know, now it's a whole different thing. I mean, yeah. comparing comparing a blunt to these medical gummies and this, that, mm-hmm. and the other, it's just an entirely different ordeal. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like going from a going from a a T model to a Tesla. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's just not the same. It's not the same thing. And again, if we can get people off opioids, we had oh, yeah. Yeah, Mike Watkins. We had Mike Watkins, a veteran, mm-hmm. on here the other day, and he suffered from PTSD and all this. Was taking over four hundred pills a month, and you know it took about a year, yeah, to wean off everything. Mm-hmm. But he weaned off every single dang pill when he got a good therapist, yeah, and on the medical marijuana. Yeah. There you go. And I, I that's a win. Those are the those yeah. are the personal stories I like to hear. Yeah. That can help change my mind because I'm not going to be a guy that's in line to go get this. Mm-hmm. This is I'm not taking any regular medicine, yeah. so you know, I, I don't need it. But I, there's going to be people if, if you can get them off Xanax, mm-hmm. if you can get them off pain pills, uh, these, and, and some of these other well, and antidepressants it, are even yeah, worse than Xanax. To your point, I was in the pharmacy business for 26 years, and Xanax is the hardest pill out of all of them to get off of. It is. Th- it's are, harder than heroin. To get yep. off of those barbiturates yeah. like that are the absolute toughest ones mm-hmm. to to break from because I, I don't know this personally I haven't dealt with it but I know people who have and they talk about brain zaps like it sounds like a, a I, electrical I, stuff to your brain yeah. that that's like debilitating mm-hmm. uh, Daryl talked about it yeah. once one time and uh, <clears throat> without giving too much personal information out there we'll just <laughs> call him Daryl for the sake of this conversation <laughs> like, uh, like, <laughs> that's probably good enough just where everybody knows who we're talking about but yeah. anyway. But, but you know, hey, look, we got to take a break real quick. We ran over on a couple segments. You listen to the Clay Edwards Show. I'm joined today by Representative Fred Shanks and Chip Matthews, and we'll be right back after this break on 103.9 WYAB. All right, welcome back to the Clay Edwards Show. We are live here in the Generator Power Solutions Studio. We got about two minutes before the top of the hour news break. So we just thought we'd, man, hit something kind of lighthearted here. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> so th- 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 I was just asking him, when, since uh, Romo dropped the ball in that playoff game when he was trying to hold it mm-hmm. for the for a field goal or X point, whatever it was, yeah. has Dallas won a playoff game? Well, since they didn't then? win that game either. No, they didn't win that one. But have they won one? Yeah, they they won one. Uh, Dak won a playoff game his first year. They went to the um, NFC Championship game, That's right. I believe, and uh, Green Bay beat them. And I saw where Dak. Well, they went to the division. No, you know what? They didn't. They they did not. They had a bye, and Green Bay beat them in the second round. So right. I'm, I'm not sure if they won a playoff game or not. That's right. And then so. uh, the reason why I bring that up is, well, you know, they choke. <laughs> But there must be some old Miss players on the team somewhere. <laughs> no, there ain't no old Miss players on Dallas's team. Uh-huh. You saw Dawson Knox yesterday knocking down them touchdowns. I didn't watch that game. Buffalo, Buffalo. It's going to be Buffalo versus Tampa Bay, and Buffalo's going to destroy them. Yeah, Kansas City looked pretty good. No, they, yeah. ain't, they, ain't, they ain't got enough old Miss players. I, 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 I had it on somewhat in the background after the after after San Francisco scored that on that first drive, and Dallas didn't. I flipped it over and started watching this new Netflix show. I sent Fred, sent it to Fred. Yeah, what? Uh, Archive eighty one. Yep. If you're looking for something to binge watch and you like kind of spooky, suspense thriller stuff, this is really good. Well, I just knocked out the new season of Dexter, which is if you're a Dexter fan, you got to tune in, and uh, that's going to be my next one right there. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I'm gonna check out Dexter too, and uh, the the new season of Bosch. It's the final season on Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, if you like gritty L.A. detective yep. stuff, it's really good. And there's some new episodes of Billionaire up, mm-hmm. too, that I haven't finished up yet. Those are shows I enjoy. All right, so we're going to come back from the break, and we're going to jump into some stuff that Representative Shanks is working on, some bills that he's got ready to push through. And always remember, you can check out the podcast at clayedwardshow.com. So if you miss any of this, clayedwardshow.com. See you in a few minutes.
This is Clay Edwards with Auto Armor in Flowood, Mississippi. Auto Armor is the area's premier automotive detailing and ceramic coating shop. Auto Armor exclusively uses System X ceramics, and we're also an authorized installer of System X products. System X ceramics comes with a lifetime guarantee and goes onto your vehicle's Carfax report to potentially add increased resale value to your vehicle when you trade it in or sell it. Take advantage of our grand opening specials right now. We're offering System X ceramic coatings starting as low as $4.99 for cars and only $7.49 for trucks and large SUVs. We also offer headlight restoration, rim polishing, and paint correction. We're located right behind Merritt Health Hospital in Flowood at 4394 Mangum Drive. And of course, we're online at AutoArmorMS.com and on Facebook and Instagram at AutoArmorMS. That's A-U-T-O-A-R-M-O-U-R-M-S. Enjoy the rest of this podcast and we hope to see you soon at Auto Armor in Flowood. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you what, it just he sound, could, it might as well be Trump up there speaking. He, he could give a speech now. I yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you Make what, your that, neck hair stand That up. reminds me that I still need to bring you, um, um, what's his name, um, James Meredith in here. Yeah, let's get him in here. Yeah, because, uh, I, oh, I want to make that one. Well, definitely. see, he, uh, I, I work out at, the gym, at Planet mm-hmm. Fitness with him. How old is he now? I don't know how old he is, he's, but we sit down and we talk about all of this stuff that he did. That's and, so awesome. Too. And and he's got a website up where he's promoting his site. And he, got, I'm not fighting for civil rights. Mm-hmm. I'm writing. I'm writing for have the same rights. Is that the blacks for Trump 2020.com? I don't know that if I saw that, all the people yeah, I, wearing. I'm sure. No, I'm being facetious. <laughs> uh, hey, real quick, man. This segment's going to be brought to you by Kimberly Harrelson at Next Home Realty. Listing, selling, or buying a home is easier than you may think. In fact, it's just a click away when you work with Kimberly Harrelson at Next Home Realty. If you're looking to make a move to or from the Jackson area, then Kimberly Harrelson is the agent that you will want. She knows how to negotiate the best price, buying or selling. Kimberly Harrelson will help you make the right decision with your home. Check out Kimberly's listings. They're online now at KimberlySalesMS.com. That is K-I-M-B-E-R-L-E-E, SalesMS.com. And because I know some of y'all went to Jackson Public Schools, Sales is spelled S E L L S. So that's Kimberly Sales S C L L S M S dot com. I went to Jackson Public Schools too, so I'm saying that for myself. <laughs> I would put in the wrong address. <laughs> All right. So hey, real quick, man, something I, I've been wanting to mention for a few days, Fred, this is concerning mm-hmm. Brandon High School yeah. before we jump back into everything. Did you know now and uh, my my stepdaughter goes to Brandon and she brought this to my attention the other uh-huh. day. They now, when the students get ready to go to, need to go to the restroom, they have to send a request in via an app. What? They, instead of just asking the teacher, hey, yeah. teacher, instead of raising their hand, hey, teacher, can I go potty? No. They have to send a request in on, on a website or app or some nonsense. How immediate is that? <laughs> I don't know. It just started last week, I believe. And what if the internet's down? Uh, yeah. You know, so, and uh, apparently, so... Then it tracks how long they're gone. And if they're gone for longer than 10 minutes, no. <laughs> then they, they send out a search party for them. Uh, yeah, nice. And they got to go to the like principal's with the office. <laughs> yeah, I mean, man, come on. Yeah. I, I, there's a part. Apparently, there were some, there's been some kids fighting and this, that, meeting in the bathrooms to do shenanigans. I got you. You know, but. but it gives you a timeline, but, I guess. But you're punishing everybody. Yeah. For. A few bad behavior. Just that's like, very sounds a lot like something Democrats would do, yeah. <laughs> and I just don't like it. Well, you know, back in the day, it was smoking in the boys' room. Yeah, it was. Okay. What do they do in the girls' room? They never said. Oh, interesting. Right. Motley Crew didn't go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look, Fred, you got something you're working on. Yeah. Yeah. It is a bill, to, and this is going to ruffle some feathers out there because I know some angry softball. Thomas, guys. I'll be calling yeah. back. I know some angry softball guys that I grew up with. Uh huh. It's a bill to protect refs and umpires across uh, the state, sport, yeah. across yeah. sports in the state. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's uh, what up, guys? Get House Bill one sixty nine, and how it came about. I'm sure a lot of your listeners from the Jackson area will know, but my dad is Coach Doug Shanks. And of course, we just call him Coach now. And uh, Coach Baseball had the Jackson ninety sixers, and just uh, legend in the baseball scene. And he drinks coffee with a bunch of his buddies, and uh, they had kind of seeing how things are going these days. And you know, you got a lot of parents now that think it's okay to just assault an umpire yeah and uh you know of course clay you you grew up in south jackson and and played at level woods like we did and uh you know most of the umpires then were vietnam vets and you just, <laughs> yeah, just, just, you, just you, you damn wish, sure weren't messing with them just, i mean they, they'd set you straight just you know? wishing somebody would yeah yeah just hoping it's the day of the day yeah yeah so you just never had that problem but as as the years went on um you know i remember we were my brother and I. My my brother Sim Shanks played baseball at Ole Miss and Chip. So I yes, think you appreciate Hotty that. Totty. Yeah, <laughs> but it, you know, I, I remember he was coaching a, a summer league team um, after we had graduated, and uh, you know, one of the parents went in the dugout, <laughs> and my dad just happened to be there. He went and you know tossed the guy out. You know, so I guess parents, some parents think it's just hey, you know make a bad call, I'll just go put my hands on this guy. So this essentially what this bill does is it changed a simple assault to an aggravated assault. So it would be a felony to, you know, physically assault or threaten an umpire with bodily harm. And it's going to go all the way to college level and everything in between. So Alabama comes to Ole Miss this year. <laughs> <laughs> and this could happen. Yeah. You can, yeah. This, well, could, this no. could happen. Where this, where this happens at is uh-huh. a, is in your is in your community league stuff. Yeah, in, in yeah, your, yeah, yeah I, I agree. I, I don't really think you're going to see much of this at the college level. No, you per won't se, see this at the college but you're going to have a few Karens out there who think it's okay to go slap an umpire. Oh, and, yeah. uh, they, they're going to do that. They're going to find out real quick that get these tournament shot. league teams and yeah, all that stuff. That's right. You know, my my dad was a coach for the Dixie Darlings uh, yeah, for yeah. years and years and years with my sister, and I mean that's the circuit mm-hmm. you got to see this that's on. Right. You that's know, right. it, it's it's typically girls softball circuit. Mm-hmm. I don't know about boys boys uh, baseball, but I know girls softball circuit yeah. has got a lot of uh, testosterone flowing through the through the coaches and the parents, mm-hmm. and it gets ugly. But I saw yeah. some wild stuff growing up watching. Watching all that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, to, to all the baseball guys out there and umpires and coaches and whatnot, you need to call your, your senator or your representative down at the Capitol and tell them, hey, we're, we're for House Bill 169. And that's, that's how we're going to get this thing through. I, I've spoken to the chairman of Judd B. on the House side, and, and he we're going to bring it up. So uh, maybe need a little help once it hits the Senate side. But, you know, this is when we need to kind of rally around and get this thing through. Yeah, I think gonna, it's needed these days. We're gonna find we're gonna find out who likes to beat up refs and umpires because those, those are gonna be the people that that uh that fight against this. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on a dang yeah. minute now. What if there's what if they're what if they're not out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to bump. Yeah. chest bump with you. I, I would hate to be the guy that voted against this bill. You know, it, it's got a bad look. You got a bad look right there. Yeah, I mean this like I mean this feels like one that you could cross the aisle on here. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. I, I think everybody's either had a friend or family member that's been in some type of situation. One yeah. way or the other, that's that's dealt with this, you know, coming up. You know, I, I got a buddy of mine, uh, Chris Chris Ebahar, mm-hmm. He uh, it's something he does across all the different sports. He's an umpire. Mm-hmm. I, I'd love to get him on and talk to him about this. Cause I'm sure he yeah. probably. Oh, I think know, he'd be all about it. Interesting takes on this. Yeah, you know, we we all know. I mean, those guys are mostly volunteers or get paid yeah. forty, fifty dollars a game. They're trying to help the community. You well, know? A lot of them can't fun. see. <laughs> Ch- Chips over here, like we do not need this to go through. I, <laughs> I, I want to throw stuff at these, these guys. I mean, you know, a good old Ole Miss State hate. <laughs> but anyway, no, it needs to go through. It, 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 you know, you don't need to be assaulting people who are out there trying to do their job. And, it, you know, same for politicians uh, and people running for politics. I, I, I mean, you your know, car- my, my, hey, my hat's off to anybody that wants to get in the political arena and – Especially if you want to get into municipal politics. Look, my po- house was shot sixty times. My car was caught on fire, and I've been and I've been uh, and, and a niece of a ex mayor totaled out another one I was in. So, but that's Canton politics. It's full contact. <laughs> Fred, so uh, any other bills that you're working on? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple more I'm working on uh, that deal with law enforcement issues. I'm a reserve police officer in the city of Brandon, and then of course my twin brother's full time over in Brandon, so that's near and dear to my heart. But Working on trying to get all law enforcement and fire a uh, thousand dollar bonus 
Uh, something we'd actually worked on last year, and we're crunching the numbers now. Things look good, so we're pushing for that. And then uh, Representative Gene Newman and I, who he's in the city of Pearl, we, we are working on a little bit better retirement package for fire and law enforcement, uh, and that would uh, pretty much change the vetting period in PERS from eight years to four, and then as of right now, knock it down from 30-year retirement to 25 so working on that, and then we found out that um, there's really not much of a difference when PERS went to an eight-year vetting period. So from four, so what we're trying to do is just get that for all state employees. And, and then, uh, PERS that, is the retirement. Correct. So forget that. I'll be running for governor after that, that bill goes through. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, got a couple things like that, and we're still we're, we're trying, and, and things look good, but we're trying to get a, a state employee raise. And, of course, that would – we've had a lot of people ask us about junior college.